This short video is just to show you about the clear stamping blocks and the two kinds of stamps that can go on them. Um, photopolymer here on the left or the cling stamps that are red rubber on the right. One little hint with the Stampin' Up! Clear Blocks is to always choose a size that works for you. I personally like to have one that has about a half an inch margin around my stamp, even though like this one that says birthday, it's so small and tiny that helps to just have a straight block for it. Um, the nice thing about these clear blocks is they have a ridge that makes it really helpful for you to grip onto. Now to give you an example of what I mean about getting the right size block. Say I have this stamp friend here that I've put my little piece of washi tape on because it's a clean stamp and it will easily come off the block that way. What if I just happened to grab the first stamp block I saw and it was this one? Now the reason giant blocks aren't great for little stamps is because when you try to ink them you very often get ink in the corner of your blocks and sometimes you forget that there's ink there and you stamp it on your paper and you have a mess or you get a halo. So using the right size block is always important. So even though I'm experienced, sometimes you don't always get a good image. Now because I use the washi tape, I peel this off with a piercing tool or take your pick tool and I'm going to transfer it to a better sized block and you'll see the difference in the image here. So when you have a more proportionate block it's much easier to keep ink from getting on your block and stamping a very nice image not having any halos. So Give that a trick when you're using your cling stamps or your photopolymer stamps to stamp great images without getting any ink on the corner of your blocks. Thanks so much. Have a great day.